six mana, flying haste, three, four. When she attacks, return target creature card from your graveyard to the battlefield tapped and attacking. It gains when you don't, uh, when you don't control a legendary vampire, exile this creature. So, she's really good. Um, I was able to win a game with her once, uh, which was nice. Uh, I got Alchemist's Gambit, which is a three mana. Uh, take an extra turn after this one. During that turn, damage can't be prevented. Uh, and then at the beginning of that ends, uh, turn's end step, you lose the game. So, uh, and you can pay a cleave cost to get rid of the, at the end of the step, you lose the game, but I wasn't playing blue, so I could never play it for the cleave cost, but I still think, like, three mana take an extra turn with, like, a bunch of flying vampires and stuff, and, like, Olivia could still potentially make for a winning game, which it did once. I was able to win a, a game with Alchemist's Gambit and Olivia, so, like, I, I, you know, I did that. And then I got a Shattered, so this is the only reason I decided to splash for white was I got a Shattered Sanctum Full Art, which is really nice. So it's, uh, the, you know, it's the slow land uh, if you uh, enter the battlefield untapped if you control two or more lands. So that's the only reason I, well, that and I got Welcoming Vampire, which is a three mana flying two, three. Uh, whenever one or more other creatures with power two or less enter the battlefield under your control, draw a card, and it only triggers once each turn. So I had like a bunch of, uh, so I had her... And Shattered Sanctum are the only reasons I splashed white. I had, like, a couple, like, white creatures that had, like, training or whatever, but they were flying. And then I had, uh, Voldaren, a Bloodcaster, one mana, uh, two mana, two one, with flying. When it enters the battlefield, create a blood token. Whenever you create a blood token, if you control five or more blood tokens, Transformer. Um... that, uh, because with Welcoming Vampire, she's flying, and whenever one or more other creatures with power two or less enter the battlefield, under your control, draw a card, and it only triggers once each, once each turn, so, like, she's pretty good. Um, so I thought that, you know, with this land and with her, it was worth splashing white. I also had, like, a, it's like a Faded Retribution or something like that. It's the, it's the two-mana destroy target attacking creature with cleave cost, where you can just destroy target creature. Um, so I had, like, decent enough reason to splash for white, and then I had, like, really good, like, black vampires and red stuff. Um, Ill-Tempered Loner is just kind of a good card. Four mana, three, three. When it's dealt damage, it deals that much damage to any target. Daybound and then Nightbound is more or less the same, so, um, yeah, they're all, uh, all together. I think I had, like, some pretty awesome options, um. I also had, like, Markov Waltzer, which is a 4-mana, 1-3, flying with flying in haste. Uh, well, flying with flying in haste. Uh, flyer with haste. And it, it's like, whenever you attack with him, up to two target creatures get plus 1, plus 0. So, like, attacking with him and welcoming Vampire was, like, 5 in the air. Um, so, yeah, I built, like, the deck. I think I should have done better. I think I got kind of screwed on draw. In my first game, I got screwed on mana and then draws. Like, I just drew really badly. Um, <coughs> and then in the game that I drew, I actually should have won. <coughs> in the game that I drew, I actually should have won. Um, we had gone past time, and we had, like, up to, it's like five turns to, for somebody to win, or else it's a draw. And I had, I basically had a board, and he had nothing. And I, I j he just, I, I just ran out of time. I didn't have enough time to attack and, and kill him. Um, but, but yeah, he, he top decked the land, and like, I think on the next turn I would have attacked and won, but we had gotten to the five turns, and then that was it, so we drew. So that is what it is. Um, so yeah, that's the deck. Um, I, I liked it. I thought it was a fun, I thought it was a fun sealed event. Um, what did I play? I played like, I played like blue, red, like spells. Blue, red, like just like spells. Um, he had, a, I actually had a copy of it. Um, it was one of the rares. I didn't play it though. Uh, it was like the card that you tap it and then you can like, anytime you draw a card, you, you don't draw a card. You just exile the top two cards of your library and then you can play them. So it was like an is it spell slinger type deck, and then I played like a Rakdos Vampires deck, and then I played what it 
was the, the first kid, the kid who beat me. I can't remember what he was playing. Um, I think he was playing like Orzov, like vampires and stuff too. It's kind of hard to not play vampires in Crimson Vow, but yeah, so that, that, those were the rares that I pulled and I had a lot of fun playing with them. Uh, really happy I was able to win with Alchemist Gambit and with Olivia at one point. Um, really happy with the Shattered Sanctum. I keep getting these like white and black um, dual lands, so I feel like I should probably build like an Orzhov deck at some point. <coughs> and then we will open, uh, I'll open these right now and we'll see if we get anything good. Do you can like feel? 
Ethiopia, the outline, and the symbol. That's really cool. 